The grenade is a weapon made by putting explosives or chemicals into bullets. Grenade means pomegranate in French, and the name means that bullets pop out like pomegranate seeds. A grenade can be thrown with hand or fired with a gun. A grenade thrown with hand is called a hand grenade. And one that is fired by gun is called a rifle grenade. There are a few rules to be followed when a grenade is designed. First, grenades should be in size and shape that are comfortable in holders' hands. Egg shape and can shape are the common ones. Second, a grenade has to be light because it has to be thrown with arm strength. Finally, a grenade has to have delayed explosion. There has to be sufficient time for grenade to fly to the target. If there is too long of a delay, enemy can throw back the grenade thrown at them, so the delay should be short, about 3 to 5 seconds. The grenade is largely divided into three sections. A fuse, a body, and a filler. A fuse is a device that ignites the filler and normally uses striker release delay type and friction delay type. Striker release delay fuse is the most common form of fuse used for grenades. When the striker hits the primer, the delay element ignites the detonator. And then the explosive explodes. A detonator is a fast-acting explosive that helps the main explosive to explode. Let's take a look at different types of striker release delay fuses. It's a Mills grenade, developed in the United Kingdom. It is the world's first grenade made using a striker release delay fuse. When the safety lever is released, the pressed spring stretches and the striker ignites the primer. The delay element burns and ignites the detonator. Since this grenade was developed for the purpose of being used as a rifle bullet, the fuse operation time was long. Because the fuse is U-shaped, it was difficult to make this type of fuse, and the explosive power was not stable. F1 grenade is an improved version of the grenade. When the safety lever is released, the striker hits the primer as the pressed spring stretches. After the delay element burns, it ignites the detonator. The United States developed MK2 grenades by studying F1 grenades. First, you have to remove the safety pin. If you let go of the hand holding the safety lever, the safety lever is blown away by the force of the spring, and the striker ignites the detonator. The delay element ignites and burns for a few seconds, and then ignites the detonator below. It is a striker release delay fuse used in a stick-shaped grenade. When the lever is released, the striker hits the primer with the force of the spring. This will cause the fuse to burn and ignite the delay element. The delay element ignites the detonator and the explosive explodes. Next up is a friction delay fuse. Friction delay fuses use a material that reacts to friction as igniters. It's similar to how a match is ignited by friction. Pulling the ring releases the friction iron and causes friction with the igniter. The igniter catches fire and the delay element burns. When the detonator ignites, the explosive explodes. This is friction ignition fuse with wires. Pulling the string causes the wire to come out and the friction occurs with the igniter. That's how the igniter catches fire and the delay element burns. The detonator then ignites. Friction ignition fuses are mainly used for stick-shaped grenades. This is M24 grenade that was used in Germany. It consists of a warhead and a safety cap. When you open the safety cap, you will see a string and a plum. Pull the plum and the friction delay fuse will activate. Then you throw it at the target and it explodes. Stick-shaped grenades can be thrown farther because they are easier to throw than the sphere-shaped ones. You can attack with more precision when it lands on the floor as it moves less when on floor. However, it is bigger than old grenades and is inconvenient to carry around. Hence, the stick-shaped grenades gradually disappeared after World War II. Let's take a look at some other fuses. First of all, the impact inertia base fuse. Impact inertia base fuse is mainly used in grenades fired by rifles. When it hits the target, its striker hits the primer from inertia and is activated. Soviet RPG-43 anti-tank grenade uses impact inertia base fuse. First, you need to remove the safety pin at the back and throw it at the target. The safety lever is removed and the power of the spring pulls the cup-shaped drogue back. The drogue acts like a small parachute that keeps the grenade stable in flight. 
When hitting the target, the primer is ignited by the striker. This will ignite the booster and cause the explosives to explode. The RPG-43 is a shaped charge that can penetrate light armors, concrete and wood. Anti-tank hand grenades used in the Soviet Union are identified as RPG-43, RPG-6, and RPG-3M. In order for the grenade to fly properly, there must have means of stabilization. The RPG-43 used a cloth and cup-shaped drogues, and the RPG-6 solely used a cloth. The RPG-3M used a small parachute. Anti-tank hand grenades are mostly mechanically fired, rather than thrown by hand. Here is another type of striker release delay fuse. This type of fuse ignites the primer before a hand grenade is thrown. The striker and the primer are separated by a spring. Pull out the safety pin and hit the striker hard on a solid object. Then the delay element will burn, so you should throw the grenade at this time. The body is responsible for enclosing explosives and for creating fragmentation, causing secondary damage. In general, when a bomb explodes, more people are killed by fragment or flying objects produced by the explosion than from the explosive force. That's how powerful fragments are, as killing tools that hand grenades produce. Various materials and designs are used for the fragment-producing body. The body of fragmentation grenade is typically made of cast iron. The shell, which is shaped like a pineapple on the outside, is designed to create uniformly sized fragments when explodes. However, the grooves made on the outside were not very effective in creating uniform fragments. Rather, it is found that the internal grooves dictated the shape of the fragments. Latest grenades put grooves inside the body. And they are made in almost spherical shapes, so that pressure of explosion spreads evenly. As explosives develop, the size of grenades is decreasing. Grenades that damage enemies by making fragments are called defensive grenades. Grenades can be broadly divided into offensive and defensive types. This depends on the situation of the person throwing the grenade. The grenade's killing radius is about 5 meters, but the fragment can and have flown 200 meters and blinded soldiers. The person throwing the grenade should get into defensive body posture because the fragments can attack himself or herself back. That's why we usually classify fragmentation grenades as defensive. Offensive grenades, on the other hand, produce little fragments or don't fly far away. An offensive grenade is used to attack enemy using the impact waves of an explosion. The impact can cause organ rupture, concussion, and shock, which can cause death. Offensive grenades can be effective when attacking enemies in enclosed spaces. Billers mainly contain high explosives such as TNT and RDX. TNT is stable and insensitive to shock, so it explodes under the shock produced by the detonator. Grenades can be used as smoke grenades, incendiary grenades, and CS grenades depending on the purpose. In this case, the filler uses chemicals instead of explosives. Smoke grenades contain white phosphorus. The white phosphorus burns and smoke comes out. It's a different kind of smoke grenade. Smoke grenade has a hole through which smoke is released. Smoke grenade is used to shield soldiers and equipment from enemy side on the battlefield. Incendiary grenade is shaped like a beer can and there is no vent hole in the body. When a grenade explodes, it spreads a bunch of burning napalm. Napam is a sticky gel that contains gasoline, so it sticks to the target and burns. It is used for burning and destroying enemies' equipment, weapons. A rifle grenade is a grenade fired from gun. It flies eight times farther than when thrown with hands. Special devices are used to fire hand grenades by rifles. Rod launchers attach a bar to a grenade, insert it into a rifle, and fire it using an empty cartridge. It uses a simple method, but it failed due to too much pressure to the rifle. So as an alternative, cup launchers were recreated. The gun's propelling gas pushes the grenade away. The grenades used in cup-shaped launchers usually have a rotating band. When a grenade flies and rotates, it can fly stably. The spigot launcher attaches to the rifle's gunpoint and fires a grenade. We use launcher adapters in order to use spigot launchers. Attach the grenade to the adapter and place the adapter tube into the spigot launcher. When you fire a rifle, the grenade and the adapter are blown away by the force of the explosive gas. The fins at the back help it fly stably. Spigot launchers can fire anti-tank hand grenades. 
The anti-tank hand grenade also puts the tube into the spigot launcher and fires it with the force of the propelling gas. It's a M31 anti-tank hand grenade. There is one primer in the front and one in the back. The front primer is an electric primer that generates electric current when it receives shock. The current generated by the primer in the front ignites the detonator in the back. Spigot launchers can also be used to fire smoke grenades or flare grenades. To fire a grenade from a rifle, you need to use a special device like this. In modern times, we don't use these devices, but we use graded launcher. In the next video, we're going to talk about grenades that use grenade launchers.